So we'll see what is Unity Catalog according to the documentation. So Unity Catalog is a unified data governance solution for all your data and AI assets in your lake house. So it will provide you a centralized access control, centralized data access control, set up all the permissions on top of your objects within your lake house. Your data auditing becomes easy. You can find out the data lineage from like how your data is moving and the data discovery becomes very easy as you compare to the data lake. So when you enable the unity catalog, the data governance, uh, data discovery becomes very easy. So you can see once you enable the unity catalog, you will have the meta store and the user management in one, uh, like per subscription, you may have one meta store as it is recommended, but meta store can be created as per the region. So if you have a global enterprise, you may have a different meta stores per region, but it is recommended to have only one meta store per region. So within that you may have number of workspaces and within that workspaces, you can manage your own clusters and your SQL warehouses. So once you enable the unity catalog, you will be getting your hierarchy, something like that. So you will be using a three level namespace. That is your catalog name dot schema name and then the objects within the schema. So here actually uh, Databricks used to call this schema or databases, but now they have renamed all the documentation to schemas only. Okay. So at the top level, you have a meta store within the meta store. You will have a number of catalogs and then schemas and then objects within that. So what is meta store? Meta store is a top level container of the objects in the unity catalog. So do not get confused with your meta stores, meta store to the hive meta store. So your hive meta store is just like a catalog. It is a default catalog, but we will enable a new catalog uh, like once we go and create a meta store. So do not get confused with that hive meta store, which is sitting inside your uh, catalogs actually. And again, they have renamed this as a catalogs. Uh, before it was just a data explorer. Okay. So we will see how to enable that. So maybe you can get a documentation for that. Let me check. Uh, yeah. So we can see this set up your Azure Databricks account for your unity catalog. So how to do that? So you configure your storage account and your Azure managed identity that unity catalog can use to store and access the managed table within your Azure account. So how to set up all this, maybe we'll see the hands on now. So let us proceed with the hands on on how to enable the Unity catalog now. So let me click on the user ID here. Here you get a manage account option. So click on a manage account option. The moment you click on the manage account option, you it will be redirected to the new page that is your uh, managing your account. So let me select this account here. Before we go, I just want you to please keep an eye on this. So Unity uh, Catalog Explorer, you have only Hive Meta Store. So we will be enabling a we will be enabling a Unity Catalog. So the moment we enable the Unity Catalog, you can create different catalogs there. So here we try to create a catalog in a notebook. So the moment we executed this, it got an error like unity catalog is not enabled on this cluster. And even you cannot use any table constraints unless you have a unity catalog for this account. So let me go back. Yeah. So the moment you go for the manage account, you will be getting this new window here. It will show you to get started with the unity catalog. Uh, let me show you the couple of things here. So this is workspaces. So if you are uh, Azure subscription have a different workspaces. All the workspaces will be shown here. So you can see I have two workspaces that are running. Uh, uh, sorry, only one workspace that is running in the East US. So we ha I have just created it right now. And you can see the data view here. So here you can get an option to create a meta store or you can just click here as a quick guide to create a meta store. And here you have a user management. Suppose I want to add some external users 
directly to my Databricks account. Yes, I can do that. For example, let me add a new user. Let me click on this user, give their email address, first name and last name, and then click as a add user. So let me add one user here just to check Ashish. I'll just write R and then click on add user. So, uh, I am just adding an external user and it is active. You can see that. So I can assign the roles to him. So I can just click on the user. So uh, here you get a roles option. I'll go to the role. So if you want to make him as an account admin, you can make him as an account admin. So he can manage all the workspaces, users, group, all the cloud resources and the settings. And if you want to make it as a marketplace admin, you can make it or uh, we can just keep it for now. Maybe later on we will assign him a new role. Okay. So or you can just add a particular group. You can just add a, the entire group which is added in your Active Directory that is about your user management now coming to the settings so you have few tabs inside the settings you have a feature enablement so remember we used a assistive feature that is ai assistive feature by just enabling this your workspace and your notebooks will be given a new symbol that is ai assistive feature we can use it so you have a language settings your preferences and your security and your account settings so these are few of the settings we, we will explore more on this maybe now we'll focus on how to get started with the unity catalog so you can go to the data view you can click on this meta store or you can click on this meta store so both will work so let me click on this i'll close this now it is asking you what would be your name of your meta store and then where you want to host this meta store you need to select the region and you need to have a separate container for the all the metadata what we will be using that will store inside your ADLS Gen 2 part. So uh, the recommended solution is you can use a new container and you can paste that path here and you need one access connector. So these are four things we needed to create in the first step that is creating a meta store. Once it create then it will just assign a assign to a workspace. So Again, remember guys, we are in the Azure Databricks. Azure Databricks works as a platform as a service. So as a platform as a service, you need to set up all this. If you switch to AWS Databricks, it do not require setting up all this. So the moment you uh, take up the Databricks instance from your AWS, it will give you a Unity Catalog feature. So you don't need to work on all this. Uh, because that is a plat uh, the AWS Databricks works as a software as a service so everything AWS is taking care of that but now you uh, like an Azure Databricks is a platform as a service you have to set up all your storage accounts where your metadata is going to store and all those things so now I'll give a name so I'll just write NY Meta Store with my name Meta Store so at the top level I will have one meta store with a name called NY Meta Store, and I'll be choosing up a region as the East US only because I have all the resources in the same region. So I'll be choosing up that. So again, uh, Databricks recommends us to take only one meta store per region. If you want to create some other meta stores, you can create, but in different region, not in the same region. So now we need an ADLS path. So for that, let me go to my account. I have one ADLS account. Let me check. So this is my SANLY is my storage account and hierarchical namespace is enabled means it is your ADLS. Let me go to the containers here. I have a lot of containers, maybe uh, assignment raw and Sony. So let me create a new container here and I'll just take a container name as a meta store. Okay, meta store. So all my metadata for that new catalog will be stored here. Let me click on OK. So inside a meta store, do you want a new directory or something like that? Yes, you can get that. So let me create a new uh, directory here and I'll just say metadata and click on save. So meta store is my container name. My storage account name is SANLY and my directory name is metadata. So you get all this by looking at the properties here. 
once you click on the properties uh, not here let me go back let me click on this and check the container properties yeah so here you get a url you can copy this url or you can go to the overview tab and you might find a url also somewhere here okay so but here you need to do a bit little bit change guys you need to save this in the same manner uh, how it is here so let me do one thing here i'll create a new file i'll paste it here so you can see it should be a container name container name at the rate storage account name so let me do couple of changes here my container name is metastore if you remember this is your metastore at the rate is your storage account name cool so this is not a blog this is your adls so you need to change it to dfs here I, i'm just looking from here guys here you can see is not highlighted but you need to manage it something like that okay so dfs.core.windows.net so now you don't need to have a meta store here but the path is your metadata if you remember metadata so let me copy this and paste it here so this is how your adls path is given so now the next part is it is showing you the access connector id so you will get this access connector id url from your azure account so we'll see how to get your access connector id so just go to your azure portal and just type for access connector yeah so the moment you type access connector here you get one service called access connector for azure databricks so click on that so there is no access connector still now let me click on create an access connector for azure databricks and pick up your subscription so i am using a pay as you go subscription so i have one resource group called project let me put it in that and i'll give a name here called as an access connector access connector and let me go and create it okay let me review it so let me check if i am into the manage identity no worries okay let me click on review plus create okay so the it is reviewed i think let me click on create so it will be deployed yeah we can see that your access connector has been deployed you can just go to the resources and the moment you go to resources here you get a resource id this is what i am searching for you just pick up the resource id from here come to the account console here and you can see it starts with subscription sub id and so on so let me put this access connector here and let me check what we have in uh, advanced option so we do not have user assigned man managed identity id that is an optional so let me keep it and let me click on create the moment i clicked on create so it is okay so it is throwing us an error saying that fail to access your cloud storage so let me cancel it now i need to give an access or the uh, role for this access connector also uh, so that this access connector will use our adls gen2 so we need to do that so let me go back to my azure account here let me go to the home tab and let me go to sanly storage account and let me go to m role or the access control i want to give that access connector the role so let me click on add role assignment i will be giving up a storage contributor role for the access connector okay contributor role storage account uh, blob data contributor that will allow you to read write delete all those things so blob data contributor let me click on next and here i'll be selecting a members so i want to give a access connector that all the permissions access connector yeah you can see this let me click on okay and then select it yes 
we have given a permission let me review it and then assign it so you can see here without you assign this role you won't able to create a unity catalog there so let me click on assign now yeah we got notified here that your role has been added so let me go back now and just click on create now so let us see if we get some error now still we are getting an error yeah so, so the moment i the moment i refreshed it refreshed it it got created your meta store has got created and within that meta store the second step was to assign the workspace so i did not assign it so now let me click on assign the workspace so this is running so i'll just click on this and then click on assign so yeah so here unity catalog uh, it is asking you to enable it so just click on enable the moment you click on enable you your unity catalog is enabled actually you will get one uh, window that is showing you congratulations you have enabled your unity catalog you get that message but now we can see that your unity catalog is enabled so maybe i'll just repeat the steps so let me click on create a meta store so i have given a name i have given a region so now you need to see, select some other region you cannot select the same region now so let me change uh, the region suppose west us and give a path and then give a access connector so uh, before you create it you need to give this access connector the permissions of accessing your adls so you need to give a, a blob data contributor for this access connector and then i just refreshed it and then in the second step i have assigned a workspace so now my workspace is uh, my meta store is created and within that workspace within that meta store i have enabled my workspace called ny databricks within that meta store so if you have couple of workspaces you can add all that into this meta store so this is how you can enable the unity catalog so this is how the unity catalog is enabled guys in the next video we will see explore how it looks like in your notebook thank you for watching this video guys keep learning